I think we have two people online entry. So let me wait for a few more. So this is talking about more about the frequently asked questions that I don't know if I'm live. Let me confirm on my side. Yeah, I think I'm live. Yeah. So this what is I believe all of us know so what prof what potrifami entails. So let me wait for a few people to come through. I think now we have five people. Yeah. So let us begin. So I'm going to answer most of the frequently asked questions that you guys are asking me in the comments section and see how I can help you succeed. Let me go to my channel, the comments section. Talk to me where where you're watching where you're watching this video from. Tell me in the comment section below. Tell me in the comment section where you, where you're watching this video from. As my browser is loading. Tell me where you're watching from. By the way, guys, I've been thinking that, you see, I've been doing videos. You know, I've been mixing up the videos. And currently, I want to do the videos from the beginning of poultry farming. What is poultry farming? What you're supposed to do? Then we come into brooding. Then we, if for layers, now we go through the whole process of raising the tick up to the grower, pull it until it comes to layers. Well, for brothers, we just discussed the how to make your brother grow, for, grow much faster. I think you need to do this in a more better way so that when a farmer comes to this channel, we find the videos arranged in that order and have a very good playlist that even a beginner farmer can come and understand it in the simplest way possible. So I've seen several messages. Yes. Sell. Selma is saying that is coming is watching from UK. Roland is watching from Delta. I think that's Nigeria. Yeah. So that by the end of this year, I'll be through with all, the, with all of those videos. So starting next year now, I think most farmers can uh, can start their farms, or maybe you can do do maybe you can do it much better than the way you are doing it. Yeah. So what do you think about that idea? And I saw this comment here. Yeah. So I'll be going through some recent comments that I saw on the recent videos. Like this video, this comment was was about a brother feed formulation. Was asking that where can I get the ingredients to make broiler feeds? So first of all, you must you must ensure that the feed formulation formula that you're going to use that the formula has materials that are present in your area. You know, some some you know some of the raw materials may not be present in your area. So you can try find a formula that has almost all the materials present in the area. And once you get that, you can, you know, most of the time you purchase this from the agrovet or from the cereal shops. And then ensure that the quality is good. Quality is good so that to avoid so that you can avoid some sense of mycotoxicosis, you know, because that is how the aflatoxin, aflatoxin is found in cereals and it may affect your chicken productivity. And I've seen several cases when I did some postmortem that the chicken, some chickens may look healthy, but when they die and then they do postmortem, find out that their liver is almost, it, it, it is not there, it is just watery. And then some of the livers are bigger than normal. Yeah. So I think farmers need to look on the quality of feeds that they're given to their chickens. So let me check another another comment and then see what I think about it. So on the conversation about of this channel, you can find it there. 
someone was asking about my contacts. Yeah, my contacts is sales agribusiness insider at gmail.com or agribusiness insiders insider agribusiness insider at consultant.com. Also, my WhatsApp number is plus two five four seven forty one twenty one two three nine. Yeah, so I saw that comment about where my contacts. I, I think most of, most of the comments have been positive. So the comments have been positive. And I do appreciate the support that you guys are giving us. And I believe that you are giving you guys value with this information. Yeah, and you can also join my newsletter. Newsletter. That's where I usually share scientific reports. Once I'll, yeah, I'll start sharing from this weekend, from this Friday, usually every Friday. So what else? Let me see the comment that I can answer. Yeah. So the, the comment was about the growth promoters. These growth promoters can also be used for either broilers or local chickens. So when you see a growth promoter, don't just, because the video is seeing the broiler, this, this promoter is for broilers. It is not just for broilers. You can use both it, both in local chickens and broilers. The head is just for the algorithm to know what the video is all about. So most of the growth promoters are applies to both local chickens, that is the croider, the curry chicken, if you're in, if you're in, if you're from Kenya, and the broiler chickens. So welcome, Gibby. Gibby saying hi. Welcome to this live session. Yeah, thanks. I think most of the comments are about saying thank you for the information. Yeah, I saw this comment about what is the ratio of feeders and drinkers in the when you're doing the brooding. So, the ratio is about, we should put the, let's say we have a square brooder. Most of the time it's not square, by the way, it is socially rounded. And you're supposed to have a brooder, a drinker, going like that, a brooder, drinker, brooder, drinker. So, so if it is aligned, so that the chicken or the chick will not lose a lot of energy going to access the water. So it will be drinker, next, a water. Drinker water, ah, drinker feeder. I'm sorry, drinker feeder, drinker feeder, drinker feeder, and the drinkers should be changed each and every day and cleaned, disinfected in the morning before now you put fresh water. And I saw a very, very interesting report, scientific report that the skull what I forgot that name. Oh, that the probiotics, probiotics can have a very positive impact on your chickens growth when you use especially for chicks so if you're going to buy the glucose the multivitamin ensure that the these products have probiotics so that you can get the benefits that probiotics usually give to chickens so i'm not going to stay here for a very long time just a few minutes and then that was you know this was most what i knew about what i'm going to do with the videos It'll be mostly about how I'm going to put now the videos in order, starting from the beginning to the end, so that by starting next year, at least a farmer who is a beginner can come to the channel and view the videos in that order, because the videos currently are kind of mixed up. A farmer may not know where to begin from. So, let me find another comment that I can answer. I'm not seeing any comments. Most of the comments are saying thank you, thank you for the information. Yeah. So tell me in the comment section where what you like to learn so so that I can also share that with you. I've got a lot of information that upon request I can share with you what you may request. It will not be based upon what uh, what I think you guys want, but what you guys want to know. Tell me in the comment section. You can send me an email, a WhatsApp, 
telling me what you guys want to learn. So I think I've, I don't have much to say about anything. Yeah. So I think this should be the end of this video. Life